Welcome to Deja Re-Review, and this could quite possibly be the fastest one of these I've ever done, both in terms of the overall length of it and the fact that it's been done so quickly after the initial review. Now, as regular viewers will know, I like to do re-reviews of products I've already looked at. Usually there's a few months I've gone between them uh, before I actually do the re-review. However, this is literally being done about a week after I got this because, as I mentioned in the original review, one of the legs uh, looked a bit weak at the joint. And this morning, as I was setting up for another shoot, uh, uh, which is going to be done after this because I'm doing this in frustration uh, instead of that review right now just to get it out of my system, he fell off! He was standing ever so nicely upright and he fell off. And both legs are now like that. Yeah. Now this was the leg that was actually giving me the problems. It did look like it had snapped off a bit. This leg, on the other hand, looked as if though it had plenty of life in it. And I was, in all honesty, I was worried that something like this would happen, but... Uh, say la vie. I can only put it down to the fact that it's so overweight that the head being so large and hunchbacked as well is just not doing it any favours. I've already told you in the previous review, don't bother with this thing because it just is so awkward. Even when it was standing upright, it basically had this hunched over look that just looks wrong. Unless you've got it up high, so that's looking down at you, that's the only time it's actually going to really work. Or if you leave it in the box, for example, my tip would be leave it in the box. That's the only way this thing is never going to get damaged. If you do actually get it. My real recommendation is to not bother getting it at all. Um, but yeah, as far as improvements are concerned, the legs have to be made a little longer, out of stronger materials, and have more balance, as well as more mobility as well. Because this is just not acceptable. And it will also help, I mean the head is light, but it's sheer size, sort of, you know, it doesn't help. The stance needs to, uh, working on, there's all kinds of problems with it. And the sword fell off as well. <laughs> Because, unfortunately, well, the other thing I didn't notice at the time was that the d different swords will not fit in the different scabbards. Okay, so that's the steel sword. You can't really fit it in the silver sword scabbard because it will break if you try. Okay, well, one of the other will break. You can actually see the line is actually formed there. But, uh, hmm, you know, the line's more visible as a result. It's sort of... You can kind of get the edge of your fingernail in maybe just a little bit. Not that I want to do that because I don't want to break it anymore. I might be able to super glue them back together and just sort of hide it in place, but... Uh, hmm. Well, unfortunately Geralt nowadays looks like uh, one of the... One of the sword fighters he comes across every now and then in Witcher 3. You know, and he cleaves them in half or something, or takes the legs off and just leads them to bleed out and die. Oh, poetic justice methinks. It's cheap, nasty rubbish. Don't get it.